Hey, how's it going? Uh, in this video, we're going to show you how to change bullets in Blogger. So, as you can see, we have three different lists, uh, each with different uh, image icons. So, what I'm going to do is firstly show you how to do it in a video and then also provide the code you need if you want to do it yourself so you don't have to go to the hassle of learning the code. Each of the images uh, displayed here is uh, housed on Picasa. You don't have to house them there. Uh, you could use Flickr, you could use WordPress itself, and the, I'm sure there are a number of other uh, image hosting software out there that you can use for free. But this is not um, going to allow you to do it if what you want to do is upload an image from your computer onto Blogger. And I'll show you why now. We're over in the Blogger dashboard now um, and as you can see I've already created a post here. This is the posts page um, and I'm just going to go to edit and there I have a couple of lists already in place. I'm going to show you how I've done that just get rid of that first of all and there we go, there's the start of our list, We'd, all we did was click the bullet list icon at the top list 3 list 3 list 3 now we're going to click on the HTML tab and you can see the difference Oh, you can't see the difference, I haven't done it yet, but in here what we're going to do is class equals speech marks list 1 and then we're going to copy and paste that into each list copy control and V for paste control and V control and V So I'm going to alter some text here. I'm just going to pause that while I do it and then show you afterwards. Okay, as you can see, I have changed the highlighted text to list two. It was all list one before. Now this list is all list two and the third list that we created is all list three. Now it's important that we uh, get this right and remember it so list one list two list three because we need to call this text up somewhere else within blogger so I'll just pause it again once you've done this just click update it brings you back to the dashboard and what we want to do is click on this tab here template tab and then again on the customized tab So on this page we have another set of tabs, advanced, and then we get another set of tabs. So this one here is what we're looking for, add CSS. Click that one. You can see I've already got some CSS installed, all referring to those lists on the other uh, page or within the post that we just created and then the long bit of text is the URL for our images so all the way over to the left what we've got is dot list one open curly brackets list hyphen style colon URL open brackets spe open speech marks and then this is where we want to put the URL of the image that we're going to use if I just take you over to the all the way over, you'll see this this one here, orange pin dot png. This one is purple 
pin.gif and the third one purple tick.gif all different this other information here is just something that Picasa puts in itself but it's important that we copy the image location correctly and insert it in between the brackets and the uh, speech marks some extra text on each one which is just going to create a little bit of space in between each element um, to make it look nice and not congested once we've done that we just go apply blog on um, before I do that actually let me just show you scroll down again list 3 list 2 list 1 calling up all the lists that we inserted into our post earlier on click on apply to blog come back over a bit to get it in the middle this is our blog again where we started I'm just going to scroll up the page click on home and that's what we're looking for is the lists that we've just created all with the different icons and it's as simple as that